Hello everyone, this is Joy from Artful Homemaking and today I want to share with you what we're going to be using for our 2017-2018 school year. Um, I've got some things that we've used for a long time, our kind of old standbys that I wanted to share with you and then I'm also going to be sharing the new things that we're using that we've never used before. So first, um, this will be our 15th year of homeschooling. My oldest has graduated so we're going to have 11th grade, 8th grade, 6th grade, and kind of second, first, second, third-ish, kind of mixing a bunch of different things for my youngest. So here's the first thing that has been with us for a very long time, and that's teaching textbooks. We've been using teaching textbooks for quite a few years now, and it's been a lifesaver for me. I love that everything's automated and it teaches my children upper level math even and grades everything and it's just all done for me. So I love teaching textbooks and it's something I feel pretty confident we'll be using for our whole homeschool experience, journey, whatever you want to call it. So teaching textbooks has been with us and we're going to keep using that. And the next thing is a reason for handwriting. All of my children have used this and we just love it. Love that you get to write a scripture verse. And my sixth grader will be using this book this year. Another thing that's an old standby is easy grammar. It's just kind of a straightforward, no nonsense approach. You do one lesson a day and it's really simple. And so I stick with that because it's just, it gets the job done, so. The next thing is the Apologia Exploring Creation Science books. Um, we've used these for years. All my older children have been through the lower elementary books and some of the junior high books and even the high school books. So we've been using Apologia Science for quite a long time. So my sixth grader will be using this one this year. She's been looking forward to doing this book. Now we get to the things that are new for us this year. Um, the first new thing, since we're on science, my 11th grader will be doing integrated physics and chemistry. And this is a set of workbooks. I heard great things about it. it was, I think I found it on Timberdoodle. And so she's going to be using this. And this also, I don't know what I did. Oh, here they are. This also is going to be used with these two DVD sets, a physics one and a chemistry one. So she'll be using that with her science books. And my son, my eighth grader, I'm going to be doing a completely um, living books based science for him this year. So this is kind of something different, but he really does better. He prefers a living books method to textbooks, and I think this will work out really well for him. So first he's going to be using this book. I've been kind of reading through it a little bit, and I'm actually finding it fascinating, so I think he's going to love that. And next he has this John Hudson Tyner book it looks like an, another great book, so he'll use that. And then I heard about this book, Six Easy Pieces, on the Simply Charlotte Mason website as it was recommended as a living science book, so he's going to be using this one, and I think that will be great for him. And then we have a Michael Faraday biography, and just to kind of add a little personal kind of depth to it, so He's got that, and then he's also going to be doing a physics lab. He's got a physics lab kit. So I'm thrilled with how my plans for that have turned out. I'm going to have a reading lesson, um, a reading, like a plan, so that he can make it through each one of these books, you know, just reading a little bit at a time and interspersing it with the physics lab. So I think that's going to work out great. So for history this year, my oldest, who's in school, my 11th grader, she will be using a textbook. She asked for a textbook for history. And I try to honor my older students' wishes, in particular my older students. So I got these um, Not Grass History and a government textbook. These are very heavy and very, these are not even all the books. There are two of these and there's another one that goes with this. But they're really well done. I'm really impressed with how they've put together their history books and they look actually interesting so I think she's going to enjoy that. But for my younger ones this year we are going to be doing the Beautiful Feet Books History Guides. We just happen to actually be on the American History um, cycle for our history so this was perfect. 
So my eighth grader will be doing Early American and World History, and this has a lot of great books that go with it. In fact, I'm reading one of them right now myself because I kind of wanted to just get a feel for it myself, and I'm enjoying it. I love it. So I think my son is really going to like this. And then my sixth grader will be using the Intermediate Early American History Guide, and my youngest will be using the Primary Guide. So we will all be focusing on the same time in history, but they were, they're each gonna have their own level of it. So, and some of the books do overlap. Some of them I probably will read aloud during morning time. And my older son, he'll just read his on his own. So anyway, that's what we're doing for history and super excited about that. And we're also going to be doing this Latin program, Latina Christiana, and I've started watching the lessons. I actually got the DVD that has the teacher on it and I'm really excited about it myself so I look forward to sharing this with my children. We'll probably do a lesson a week and it's just going to be no stress, just learning Latin and Latin roots and things like that so I'm excited about that. So now I come to, let's see, one more thing with my older children. This Spelling UC program, I've never used this before. For the past few years, we've been using Spelling Wisdom from Simply Charlotte Mason, which I do like, but I kind of wanted a workbook, and this is a workbook approach, but it's very similar to Spelling Wisdom because it has you do dictation rather than a list of spelling words. So I'm really excited that I think this is gonna be great for my sixth grader, so that's what she's gonna be using. And for writing this year, the new thing we're doing with writing is we're going to be doing, I have this little binder of CD, DVDs, um, Institute for Excellence in Writing. And I've never used this before, but I've been going through the teacher training. Just, I actually put in a DVD while I'm cleaning or while I'm doing something else. And it is so, I'm finding it fascinating and I'm really enjoying watching it. And I'm excited about it because I think it's going to help me with my own writing. So I can't wait to learn this with them and to share the the whole program with them. I think it's going to be great. So that's what we're using for writing. And my youngest, he seems to have um, dysgraphia, which is where it's hard for him to write and he has some fine motor difficulties. He's extremely smart. He reads well, doesn't have any speech difficulties at all. In fact, he was one of my best talkers, but he, it's writing is like going to kill him, you know, when he's trying to write something. So I've tried to steer away from curriculum that uses weight, relies too heavily on writing because he just, it's painful for him. So this year, instead of doing a traditional math curriculum, the usual kind with a workbook, this year I'm doing write, start math. And I heard about this from another homeschool mom who had a similar issue and a lot of it's hands-on, a lot of manipulatives and a lot of just verbal type of stuff. So. That's what I'm gonna be using with him for math. For handwriting, I'm switching him to um, handwriting without tears, which I think will be really good for him. I think that's gonna help him. And I think that's about it. I may be using All About Reading level three with him. He's done the pre-reading, the first level, the second level, but I haven't decided if he needs the third level or not. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but he may be doing level three. And I may use All About Spelling with him. I've used that with a couple of my other ones and I already have it, so I might be using it. So I think that may be about what I was gonna cover. I didn't want this video to be too long because I have a tendency to go too long. So, oh, the other thing that I forgot was we're going to be using classical conversations, not as a community, just on our own. And I'm really excited about that. And I mostly wanted it just for the memory aspect. So. We're going to be using the Foundations program, which teaches you all sorts of things, gets it in your mind. And I love the concept, I love the idea of it, and we're gonna probably be doing most of it during morning time, just memory and review and that type of thing. I think it's gonna be great. I'm really excited about it. So um, I think that's about it. Let me, I wrote something down to see if I could make sure I remember it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I did do a very detailed blog post outlining all of our choices, because this isn't everything. This is just kind of an overview, and especially the changes we're making. 
So check out that blog post. I'll put a link to it below. And I'll also put a link to some of the sources if you're looking for some of those. And be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch my next video, I'm hoping to do more. So if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. And if you're a homeschooler, I'd love to know if you use any of the things that I just mentioned, if you have any experience with them. Just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're using this year, even if it's something totally different. So just let me know in the comments and I hope to see you again. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.